So I made a how-to drift video before. Um, I think I may have skipped a few steps. I've had some people ask me, well, what is the first step to drifting? Like you've, you've showed us, you know, you, you lock up your rear brake and then you, uh, you know, you start the tire spinning and you're doing circles and that's really cool. But how do we get to the point where, you know, where, uh, where, where you started your drifts? Where, where did you start from? So I just wanted to go over a few key points real quick. Um, I'm actually in my driveway to prove a point. Uh, you don't need a lot of space to do this. People are asking me, you know, how do, why do you do such tight circles, or, or why do you make, you know, when do you make your circles bigger, or this and that. I started out with tighter circles and tighter drifts because I feel like you can always expand out from there. So the the um, starting with the tighter the tighter drifts was definitely where I wanted to be. One thing I want to make a point before we get started is um, as you see me coming into my drifts, notice that I'm not doing the foot down thing like when a lot of people are starting their drifts out or, or starting to learn how to drift or whatever. They want to go into it and put their foot down as like support and they just you know drift around in circles or, or roll and burn out in circles or whatever with one foot down and it's cool but you're never gonna open your drifts up to where you can go around corners or go around uh, objects very well controlled without having that you know that support leg or whatever where it's a an actual drift so try to get yourself out of the habit of, of relying on that foot or that leg that you want to put on the ground and I'll show you as I'm coming around you'll basically see me just come into the turn lock the rear brake up I'm locking the tire up until it gets to the to the sweet spot or whatever in my in my corner or in my drift or whatever and as it gets into that I'm gonna pop the clutch and just kind of try to ride it out that, Theoretically, you want to ride it out smooth. It doesn't always go as planned, but you'll see, uh, you know, I'll come in and just uh, lock it up, spin it around, and then go back out of the drift. So basically just making one horseshoe, and that's how you start learning your drifts, is just the, uh, the U shape is where you'll get started. stop that stopping point where I just was you saw me instinctively kind of pop the clutch just then and that's that's right about where I would I would pop the clutch to continue my drift also another thing is leaning into it whenever you're going into this I know it's scary and it, you kind of have to talk yourself into it but leaning into your drift is going to make a big difference me being an old I used to be a road racer so I instinctively kind of want to do like this and this is actually for me been a really good habit because whenever I have my weight off of the bike like this I have one butt cheek off or whatever and I'm leaning into it it keeps me <laughs> she thought that was funny it keeps me from high siding and high siding is a, is a huge problem I actually uh, broke my hip last June from a high side you know which was which was no fun at all so you don't want to be there so to keep from high siding keep your weight inside it'll help uh, help keep the bike from from jerking you one more uh, quick point I wanted to make typically and I didn't mention this I don't think in my other video I can't remember but uh, I learned how to drift while I was learning how to, to do a lot of different stunts so the idle on this was turned up now you don't always have to do that but keeping your idle turned up this is probably I'll let you hear it in a second but probably around maybe 2,000 rpms something like that 2,500 don't pay attention to exact numbers with your rpms but definitely having the idle turned up will help your tire uh, help your somehow it helps your tire break loose or you're not uh, you're not you're less likely to stall out when you're going in the middle of your drift and things like that so um, just to let you hear it real quick when I turn mine on that's about where I'm at and you can hear you can hear that uh, you know the, the engine's turned up a little bit more it's not doing that loping sound that these things typically do so without that loping it's already you know the motor's already excited and it's it's much more likely to keep the drift going So practice that going, first of all, left turns and right turns, and make sure whichever side is your weak side, everybody's got a weak side or a side that they're more afraid of, of turning into. So whichever side is your weak side, you want to practice twice as many times as what you're doing the opposite side. So if your left side is your weak side, you want to do twice as many of those left drifts or those left skids or whatever you're, you're practicing as you're doing to your right. And that's what'll make it so that you can drift both ways. Here's a quick example of just using some kind of an object or something like that for you to drift around so you can learn how to Okay, um, I hope that was helpful. I, I know the, the drifts are pretty confined and they're really
really short and you know you're saying this guy's just you know sliding his rear around or, or, or whatever but this is exactly how I started this is where you know it was like a year and a half ago or so maybe two years I started posting the uh, the drift videos and through a lot of trial and error this right here is what got me to where I could control the drifts you know drift pretty much as many circles as what I wanted to um, get it to the point where I knew exactly how the bike was gonna act things like that uh, hope it helps you out. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to, to put them down there on the comments. And if I can get to them, I, I certainly will. Also, check out the other drift videos. Um, if, you, if you get ready to go to the next step or whatever, I've got another instructional video that'll take you a little further if you haven't seen it already. And uh, hope to see you guys around. Thanks very much. I'm Dane Britt. Oh, you look kind of cool with the wind blowing your little shirt. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, I forgot the next point I was going to make. You got me good? Yeah. You're recording. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. I um, real quick uh, want to show you just a, a quick example. Okay. Time out. Wait, time out. Do uh, you want?